So every time the Power BI team releases a new Power BI update, I am traveling. So there is no way I can make them on time. Apologize for that, but it is what it is. So let's get started. March 2023. Okay, so let's start with all slicers button. It is basically a button where you can select uh, values on the slicers and different slicers and apply them all at once. This is useful if you have a lot of data, so it just sends one query instead of one query per slicer and you have to wait, right? So if you don't have a lot of data, I would recommend you not to use it because people might expect the slicers to work right away and might not find the apply uh, or uh, button, okay? There is another button and it's the clear all filters button and I'm so thankful for that because I always create the clear all the slicer buttons and I have to do it manually with bookmarks, pain. So this is lovely. Thank you for that update. And there is another update that is very hidden, but it's super, super neat. There is now the possibility to disable cross highlight and cross filter for a report. Like how neat, believe it or not, you don't always want to filter or highlight when clicking on things. Sometimes it just gets annoying because you don't you didn't create the report for filtering or highlighting, so I really think that it's just very, very neat for a specific type of report. So check that out. There is an on object interaction opt in. You have to actually go to preview to turn this thing on, which basically will allow you to edit visuals the Excel way, right? So you right click and then you get the format pane next to it which is actually quite nice if it will save me clicks. I haven't tested it yet. And it's actually quite nice because you will be able to point where you want to edit and then get the pain for it rather than, you know, the long list and searching for stuff there. So yeah, it should be definitely be a better experience. I don't think it's revolutionary in any way, but it's hopefully it's useful if implemented correctly. I will give you more details once I've tested I haven't done it yet. Let me know what you think in the comments. And one of the things they have added to visuals is that you have now a title, a subtitle, and then you have a divider, okay? So if you want to have that style on your visuals, you can now do it. So the next one is also quite neat, and is that we have had the possibility to export Power BI into PowerPoint, which is actually very, very nice. But we had to export the entire report. With this update, you can actually export only the visual that you want into PowerPoint. Really, really neat. So there are some updates to the scanner API. This is basically for Power BI admins. So check it out if you are an admin. And they now allowed for email subscriptions for scorecards. I didn't know it was possible, but it is actually here. There are some limitations though, so make sure you check it out. It's like up to 24 subscriptions per scorecard and yeah, just check the docs to be on the same side. Now for the mobile, now there is a possibility to discover external content on the mobile app. This is actually not only on the mobile app, you have that also in Power BI service. So if you are a consultant or you have like a business to business with another Power BI tenant, instead of asking all the time for what the tenant ID is, you now have the content that they share with you on your tenant. Lovely, I love it, it's so nice, very, very good. Another update on mobile is that you can now grant access to a report with the mobile, or using the Power BI mobile app, so nice. And folks, that's all for March. For me, my favorite is the clear all button, like so glad I don't have to do that anymore manually. And the organization, you know, the external content available on my tenant that I think is lovely because the number of URLs that I had to save just to be able to access my customers' content, it was just madness. So let me know which one was your favorite and I will see you again on the next video.